name Luigi's and Trey's soul. A police... Would you imagine that? Sorry. The police report indicated that it was a brief one. They had met for drinks nearby before moving to the backseat of a Buick. <laughs> the question by the cops, neither Daniels nor Adams, both who, of whom were unsteady and smelled of booze, knew the other's name. They didn't know each other's name. <laughs> he must have been drunk. Or desperate. Probably both. After a breathalyzer test, records show that Daniel's blood alcohol was .15, nearly twice the state limit. Daniel's and Adams are busted for indecent exposure, disorderly conduct, and bailed in a local jail. Booked in a local jail, where they both have been held until sobriety returned. While in custody, cops noted that Adams decided to do decided to strip down to his underwear. Oh, there's another story to it. Good, good, good. They did this September of last year. I didn't even know the story. Good God. Sorry, I'm looking at their mugshot. She looks happy. <laughs> I didn't even know this story happened last year. This shows how oblivious I am to this everything, to everything, so... 71-year-old Michigan woman arrested last... Well, this is the last year's story. Last month. After police found her naked, having sex with a younger male companion in the backseat of her car, was fined $585. See, that ain't right. Unless she's getting to senior discount. She gets a $585 fine. And he gets a $785 fine. And 50 hours of community service. See that. You see that's not gender equality right there. See that, that ain't right. I ain't defending this dude. So. What he did was wrong. But shit. You know. What happened to gender equality? That's all I'm asking. All right, uh, prosecutors. Uh, but I do love the response he did give the cop. I'm fucking his chick. <laughs> that that right there was funny, and that was just brilliant. That is just gold right there. So. <laughs> uh. What the? Sorry, I gotta read this story. This one cracks me up. On Easter Sunday, after attending an Easter Sunday church service, a Randy, Georgia couple repaired to the parking lot of a nearby Kroger supermarket and began having sex in their Nissan 350Z. Police report states, the automotive assignment, okay. However, it was broken up by a cop routine traffic patrol, sorry, noticed a silhouette of what appeared to be a female head bouncing up and down on the front part of the driver's seat. After exiting the cruiser, the cop approached the vehicle for further inspections. A detailed officer, detailed by officer, 
Numar, sorry, Numar. He spotted Jamal Grant, 26, naked from the waist down to his knees. <laughs> oh my god, this cop is like so into detail of what he sees. Okay, this is the cop's report. You know, if a cop goes into this detail, something's shady about the cop. Okay, the cop, Numar is his name, spotted driver Jamal Grant. And this is the officer's report. He spotted the, op- spotted the guy naked from the waist down to his knees and had his erect penis out, which was in the front seat passenger Michelle Felix's mouth. <laughs> the officer added, Move more over, more over was Michelle's breasts, who were naked, and Grant was touching them with his hands. I just wanted to be like, Did you take a photograph of this just because you're so in detail about what you were seeing? Something's up with the officer. <laughs> I'm just putting it, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not just saying it, you know. I'm just saying it because it's just like, yeah. I'm just saying, like, the officer was just, uh, you know, he was so into detail, I'm surprised he didn't do a, you know, painting <laughs> right there. Do a sketching, sorry, sketching is what I meant. After the officer knocked on the Nissan window, Grant and Felix were struggling to put their clothes on. After Grant opened the driver's side window of the officer's direction, the cop directed a strong odor of both burnt and raw marijuana from the car and asked the couple what were they doing you just saw it you were you gave a detailed sketch of what you saw Grant responded we were making out (laughs) (laughs) adding he and Michelle came to the location from church after attending Easter service. The police report does not specifically say which church they were at. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but they... <laughs> the, uh, the, sorry, they were... Presumably offered a late night service to go to. Mm hmm. <laughs> it just, that is so, like, messed up of what happened. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wait, I got a comment. Can you do one more story? <laughs> yeah, I'll do one more. And yeah, wrapping the show up. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I'm just like looking for what stories. Alright. I found one. This one's at the Popeye's chicken one. For, for those who don't know, um, who are in France or Germany, um, 
Popeye's decided to do the inflict the post-apocalyptic stuff on us by hyping up this chicken sandwich. And as a guy who loves Chick-fil-A sandwich, I haven't tried the Popeye's chicken, so don't ask me if I did. Um, everyone is like freaking the fuck out over this chicken sandwich by saying it's the greatest chicken sandwich ever made. Um, yeah, I tried it. Chick-fil-A. But not really. Like, I, I like Chick-fil-A sandwiches. But, um, the best grilled chicken sandwich I ever had is the, uh, Culver's and Eureka. That is, like, the best chicken sandwich I have ever had. But, the greatest grilled chicken sandwich I have ever had in my entire life was in McDonald's and Six Flags St. Louis back in the day. I had a grilled chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise, mayo. And it was like the greatest sandwich I have ever had in my life. <laughs> so... When it ever comes to the like, greatest chicken sandwich of all time, it is that sandwich. And I, I, I wish um, McDonald's would do that. Just bring back the grilled chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, mayo. But, you know, they won't do it, so. But Culver's did, so Culver's won my heart. <laughs> When it comes to food. <laughs> my cat woman has my heart, so. So, what happened was in the story in... Newt... Knew it? Um, a guy pulled out a gun on... a Popeye's chicken employee over them running out of... The new chicken sandwich. I don't know when people started like all of a sudden be like, let's eat fast food <clears throat> and hoard a Popeye's chicken for a chicken sandwich. Like I, I drove past Popeye's Monday because I had to go to a bookstore and look for a, help my dad help my dad find a book he's looking for. And I remember he jokingly said, like, let's stop at Popeye's for chicken, uh, for that chicken sandwich. I was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, nah. So I ended up making, like, spaghetti for him. So that was kind of what I did. Um, I do make the best spaghetti in the world, so. Ha. Huh. Um, so this guy in Texas just decided to pull a gun out on a Popeye's. <laughs> chicken employee, and I feel sorry for the employees there, because they don't deserve to be hoarded at, like, the zombie apocalypse for chicken. Especially a chicken sandwich. And these people don't deserve it. Like, you know, if you want a chicken sandwich, go to Chick-fil-A. Go to Popeyes if they run out of a chicken sandwich. There, go to Chick, go to Chick Fil A, go to Culver's, go to McDonald's, go to KFC. Don't, don't pull a gun out on someone because they ran out of something. This isn't the Wild West. You should make spaghetti for me. I will. Yeah, I will make you spaghetti, and I'll make the homemade garlic bread. By the way, it's just easy. It puts like garlic, you know, butter and garlic. <laughs> got garlic bread. So, here's the thing about it. If you want a sandwich, go go to Chick-fil-A. Go somewhere. I don't know. Who, I mean, who knows? A chicken sandwich could be bad, for all we know. I don't know if it's good. I, I never tried it, so... <clears throat> So anyway, that's what happened, and the cops are looking for the guy who pulled the gun out on them. So, um, no Popeye. The good news is no Popeye employees were or restaurant patrons were injured during the incident. So none of them were injured, none of them were harmed. That's the good news of it. 
So close the laptop.